hola i have a birthday party coming up this saturday and so i thought to myself why don't i just make a dress the pattern that i picked for this dress is a pattern by this is kachi called annika it's a milkmaid dress and i've been wanting a milkmaid dress for so long so i really want to make sure it comes out nicely this is i don't know if it's mirrored is it mirrored how do i want to mirror it there is a tutorial already on her channel this is kachi and i'll link it below yeah i'm excited to make this dress and i've always wanted one because i feel like a milkmaid dress is like super romantic i don't know for my fabric, I'm going to be using this, this fabric right here. It's a mauve colored fabric. Funny story, up until like a couple of years ago, I thought mauve was pronounced mauve, <laughs> which I feel dumb about. But then again, I also thought that Florence Pugh's name was Florence Pa. So I don't know what's wrong with me. I just mispronounce stuff, I guess. <laughs> mm. Anyway, so I got this fabric at Joann's. It's like a medium weight kind of fabric. It also has some stretch to it, just a little bit. I don't know what the fiber content of it is. It is, whoa. I don't know what the fiber content is though. So I already printed out, cut, and assembled my pattern. And FYI, if you're making this dress, make sure you set your printer to the correct settings to print it or you're gonna kind of end up like me and printing twice which is what i did because i didn't notice the settings or i didn't I, I guess i just didn't pay attention to the settings and i had to print it twice so check your settings for this pattern it goes from a size extra small to a 3xl the size that i chose was a 3xl which still ended up being a little bit too small for me i'll put the sizing chart somewhere right here what i needed was a 49 inch bust and a 39 inch waist which the pattern was like a tad bit too small and it uses centimeters metric so if you don't know metric get a converter the hips were also a bit small because i needed a 49 hip but um that didn't really matter to me because it's a circle skirt so it was fine that it was small because the pattern was small what i did was i sized it up by adding pieces of paper under it i used wrapping paper i watched lady rebecca fashion's video for how to size up a pattern for plus sizes so i'll link that video below i didn't really film how i did it so you could just watch her video on how to do it here are some of the pattern pieces you can see how i I added wrapping paper to extend. The pattern also doesn't have seam allowance, so I added half an inch seam allowance all the way around after I sized up the pattern. After I finished sizing up the pattern, I made a mock-up and I'm so glad I did because it didn't fit how I wanted it to. And it did not fit me in the bust area specifically. Everywhere else was like pretty good. Here's my mock-up. I know it looks a little so it looks a little weird right now. I added a zipper in the back just to help me with the fit because I really wanted to get a more accurate fitting. So what ended up happening was that the, the cup was, I guess, sitting a little bit too low. I didn't like how low it was sitting and so I measured it to see how high I wanted it to sit. And I believe I added like three inches to to it or I wanted to add three inches to it so after that I took off my mock-up and I removed the left left it's my left on well, my right the bodice is left uh, cup and then I went back to my pattern and I I guess I extended it I added all of this right here this this brown part I extended it up extended it up I made it bigger and also the bodice was also um, like bagging right here. I think it was too much fabric. It was a little excess, excessive. So I just kind of pleated it in the front to make it smaller. So this is my my pattern piece. After I finish it, I 
After I finished my pattern piece, I recut that piece from a piece of muslin. I re-sewed it on and tried it on and it, it fit. There was enough coverage in the bust. You could see how one side is more covered than the other and it kind of makes it look more, I guess, lifted. I still had a little bit of excess on the side so I re-trimmed my pattern. I folded it more so it was shorter. So last night I cut out my pieces from my fashion fabric and this morning I woke up in the morning. I ran all of my pieces through my overlock machine and my knee really hurts from doing that because I have to be on the floor to get to my overlock. Well, I probably can move my overlock somewhere else but I just, I don't know where. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to get sewing because it's getting late. Let's go. Here are my pattern pieces all laid out. It kind of looks like a face. The eyes and the eyebrows. I'm going to sew all of the bodice pieces together. Then I'm going to gather the bottom of the cup on both of the sides. And then I will show you how I attach the cups. Oh, also, I didn't add the sleeves to my mock-up because I knew they were going to fit. So I just didn't add them. I don't have matching thread. For my overlock or my sewing machine. I don't think I'm ever gonna have matching thread for any of my projects. I know it should be matching but I just don't have it. I don't want to run space for it together. Hello, I'm back. It's day two and I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday. <laughs> so yesterday I had an issue. My pattern didn't fit onto the remaining fabric that I had. It was like too short by, by that much or something like that. So this morning I went to my BFF Joanne. I went to Joanne's and I was looking for the same fabric to see if they maybe had it, but they didn't. So I'm going to have to panel the skirt and I've never done a paneled skirt. So hopefully it works out since they didn't have the fabric. I bought a zipper. It doesn't match, but it'll do. And I bought matching thread. The reason I bought matching thread was because there's going to be some stitching lines. I had to top stitch some stuff and I want it to match so. <laughs> I also found this strawberry fabric. It was like a, a remnant so I just picked it up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it's cool. Right now I'm going to finish the bodice. I'm going to gather the cups. I'm going to attach them to the bodice. I'm gonna top stitch the, the top edge. I couldn't find tops. Shut up. I'm going to top stitch this top edge so I could uh, finish it. Also, I'm going to stitch down the, the seams inside and then I'm going to start working on the skirt. Okay, for the cups right here, you're supposed to sew like a tunnel right here on the top part of the cup. There's the cup. This is the inside of the cup. So you're supposed to sew a tunnel because you're gonna put a string in there so that you can... What I did was I ironed the top half over. There's a little bit of pleating. Like a tiny bit. You can kind of see it right there. And it's fine because it's gonna get gathered with the string. So what I'm doing is folding it over, stitching, I guess, close to the edge so that I can make a tunnel and I'm going to stick a string in there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a string or like, I don't know what it's called, a scrap, almost like a scrap. Well, I'm going to make it with the remnants of this fabric so that I can feed it through and like pull it and gather it. So I ironed it down. I'm pinning it down. I'm going to stitch it and then I'm going to make the string and feed it through. Okay, here I am making the little strings or straps for the cups. I sewed them together and turned them inside out. And then I use a safety pin method to run it through the little tunnel I made. 
so that I can, you know, scrunch it up and pull it. I tacked it down at the end and the other side is free so that I can pull it and yeah. Okay, I want to show you guys how I pin the cup. This is the front of the bodice. I gathered the cup. Here's the center of the bodice. I folded it down and I attached the cup to it. This part right here that's folded in, this part is the center, it goes towards the center. And that's where your string pulls. And then I attach the cup right side to right side until we get to the end. And at the end, right here on the side, make sure to fold your seam allowance down before you sew in the strap because if not, you're going to have this raw edge showing from the front. So fold that down before you sew your cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pin the other side of the cup and then I'm going to sew it down. Okay, here's the plot is. It looks really weird right now just because I don't have the sleeves attached. They're supposed to attach right here at the side. I kind of want some straps. Here's what I did. I sewed the cups on and I removed all the basting stitches from the inside and I also top stitched see right there I top stitched the seam allowance up because that's what the instructions said to do so this is this is it right here I think I'm done with the bodice for now I'm gonna get started on the skirt and I'm gonna attach the skirt to the bottom after I join all the panels together and at the end, I think I'm going to attach the sleeves because I want to try it on to see where the, the placement of the sleeves are. So bodice is done, getting started on the skirt. I think I'm going to run the side, like the sides on my serger and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, here I'm using my bodice to see where I am going to cut my panels from my skirt. I wanted the panels on the skirt to line up with the panels on the bodice. After I had that matched, I cut them out and I laid them on my fabric. I am just pointing out that I'm going to add like a quarter inch seam allowance on the side so that I have room to join my panels together and I cut them out. Okay, here are my panels laid out. I I ran them all through the serger. This is the the skirt front. This is the fold. So this is going to be the middle piece. And then this is the front side, the back side, and then the back and the zipper goes here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the middle and I'm going to attach the side and then I am going to check if it matches up with my with my bodice over there. I think I'm going to work on one side first and then I'm going to work on the other side. Hopefully everything matches up and if it does, I'll attach it to my bodice over there and then I'll install a zipper. Fingers crossed. Let me get started. Hi, it's day three. <laughs> I don't know. It's day three. I'm in my pajamas. It says, no, I'm not wearing a bra. Uh, good morning, sunshine. I woke up this morning and did half of the skirt. When I started, I sewed one of the panels upside down. So that was fun. And I also played bobbin chicken and I won, which is cool. But here's half of the skirt. You can't really it but you can see the panels right there what I'm gonna do now is start working on the left side and I left the left side for last because the left side is where I want the the slit opening to be so I measured 12 inches down right there right here I measured 12 inches down I measured 12 inches down on the panel that goes next to it so I'm just gonna sew up to there 
and uh, muscle up to there and attach the rest of the panels and then I'm going to attach it to my bodice so I'm gonna go do that I lost my audio here but I'm basically just explaining that when I made the bodice I guess I didn't line it up correctly and there was like this little gap right there on the bottom of the bodice I sewed my skirt onto it anyways but then I had like half an inch seam left over on each side of my skirt so I ran it through my surgery and cut it off hello I didn't want to remove my my hair wrap because I usually sleep with my hair in a bonnet or like a scarf because it's really curly. I finished, <clears throat> I attached the bodice to the skirt right here. Here's the slit. I still have to, I guess, tack it down because it's just folded over. I'm just gonna sew up and then like. I want to go across just to kind of secure it a bit so it doesn't tear open even though I backstitched right there just you know just in case okay so now I have to close the back and add the zipper where's my zipper where's my zipper I just had it oh what the hell I have this zipper right here it's a invisible zipper it says it's 20 to 22 inches long which is like way too long for me but it was the only purple or kind of light purple one that there was and I wanted it to match okay and this is where my mic dies I'm just basically showing you that the zipper doesn't really match and that it's too long so I'm gonna cut it about where my finger is okay so I don't know what happened I don't know why I thought I had to sew the zipper in with the the seam allowance folded down I, have to sew the zipper in with it with it open so I'm going to remove these stitches and redoing it the only reason I noticed is because it wasn't where is it? it my mic died again right here I apologize for the audio it's kind of all over the place throughout this video I think I did a good job happy with it. This is how the inside looks right here. The zipper is way too long. It has all of that. So what I'm doing is I'm making like a little bar tap right there. And then I'm gonna just uh, snip off the zipper, but I just lost my needle. So I think I need to like do three more loops. So that'll be done. I'm gonna try it on and and then I'm going to get started with the sleeves. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get started. It's 1.48 p.m. I'm going to throw in my clothes into the washer by two. And then the sleeve curlers. And then I'll be back. Okay. I went to Stater Bros and got some ice cream. <laughs> clothes is in the dryer. I'm going to start on the sleeves and I think I'm going to make some straps for the dress because I need the extra support. I hope I finish today. Oh, and I have to hem it. Get started after I finish this ice cream. I feel like this didn't bunch up how I wanted to. It doesn't, I don't know. Maybe I stretched it too much. Yeah, I think I did. I think it must have been stretched too much or, I don't know. It's like measuring way too, too big. If I saw it right there and I put it on my arm. It's like super big, but I guess that's, oh no, I don't like it. Look, it's all floopy. I think maybe what I need to do is make a casing. 
I'm gonna try it with the other arm and if it doesn't work out, I don't know what to do. I keep dropping everything. I'm gonna do that. Okay, I know now why it wasn't stretching as much. This already has stretch to it, so I think because it has stretch plus the elastic, it's not really um, like snapping back as it should. Um, I'm gonna, I did a, what is this, like a casing? I'm gonna run the elastic through. I hope it works. I don't know what's happening, but it's, I made a casing for it and it's just like, it's as if it lost its stretch and like this side is fine, but this side right here, it's like, it won't like go back in. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And I'm getting kind of frustrated. And you would think the sleeves are the easiest because they're just rectangles with elastic, but of course that's the part where I like, I had to panel a damn skirt that was a circle skirt, but the sleeves are the ones that are giving me problems. I think I'm just gonna remove this elastic. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna hem my skirt. Cause I'm tired of these sleeves. Goodbye. Hem is done. Slit is done, zipper's in. I'm not ready to go back to the sleeves, so I'm gonna make some straps because I need them. I think I solved my problem. Stretch needle. Stretch needle and a zigzag stitch. I did a test right here on just like some scrap fabric and it bounces back. Switch my needle to a stretch needle, but also I haven't switched out my needle in months so maybe it's a good thing i remembered i actually looked on reddit on the sewing subreddit it's a wealth of knowledge i checked reddit and i typed in elastic not stretching or elastic sleeve something like that and someone was having a issue with their stitches skipping and the like top comment was like stretch needle switch to stretch and i was like oh, Yes, stretch needle. So that seems to work. I'm gonna try the sleeves, fingers crossed. I hope I can do it because I I made my straps. I need to do the sleeves um, so that I can attach them and then I can add the straps. I'm so close to finishing, I can taste it. It's 510. I want to finish by six, but I'm not gonna say finish by six or I'm gonna get stressed. So I'm gonna get started again and I'm gonna finish. Here I am just measuring two inches above that finished bottom part of the sleeve. That's where I'm gonna add the elastic. Okay. Ugh. Oh my god. It's 6.55. The dress is finally done. I smell really bad. My eyes are burning. And I need to shower. But it's done. In time for tomorrow. In time for tomorrow's birthday festivities. My room's a mess. I'm gonna show you before I show you the reveal how... Oh my gosh, how messy it is. Like I have all of these needles and all this trash on the floor. It's, yeah, it's all sorts of messed up.
Hello. I finally finished the dress. It's been about um, two weeks since I finished it. I finished it on April 7th and it's the 21st. I was able to wear it for the birthday party, which was two weeks ago. I just haven't, I just haven't had time to film. You know what? I'm going to take off my glasses. I really like how it came out. It's super comfortable. The pattern was easy to understand and it was easy to sew together. So I'm actually really happy about it. It looks very pretty. The color is very flattering. I'm so happy I got to wear it. I'm going to start with what I liked about the dress and what I didn't like about the dress. I really liked that I had a, a huge size range. I mean, the, the biggest size didn't really fit, but I was able to adjust it easily, but it goes up to a 3XL. It's very flattering. I think it looks very romantic. By the way, I cannot see right now. I took off my glasses because my ring light just keeps glaring at them. The pattern was really easy to understand. It was easy to put together, so I'm really happy about that. I don't know, it's just so cute. I feel like it's very romantic. I just have really good things to say about this pattern. I enjoy it. I would definitely make this again, 100%. You should make it too if you want an easy milkmaid pattern. I definitely recommend buying her pattern. I'm gonna talk about some things that um, didn't work out for me with this dress. It's, I don't know if this is just made for someone who has a smaller bust, but I don't know. There's no support in it, so I had to put some straps on it. Still very flattering. Oh yes, it sits, it kind of sits low right here and you can see my my bra and you would be able to see it more, but I, I put a safety pin. Yeah, when it's not there, it's like, you can see the whole thing of my bra. Another thing is I didn't adjust the length of the torso. It's It's a little bit too long. You can see that my waist is like about right here, just like a t like a hair, and then this is here, so I feel like it would have pulled in better if it was up there, which is fine. I love how it came out. Also, I, I should have probably made the slit a little bit longer. It's a little bit too short, and I kind of want to show more leg. Mm -hmm. I'm a little sweaty right now. I have a couple projects lined up, but I know I, I'm really slow at uploading. <laughs> I hope I could get them done soon. Yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. If you watch the whole thing, uh, I guess this is where I say like and subscribe. So like and subscribe if you want to, but if you don't, then don't. Uh, toodles. <laughs>